Hello, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Anastasia, and I'm from the University of Zurich. Today, I'm excited to present research done in a collaboration between the University of Zurich, University of Waterloo, and Virginia Commonwealth University. Take a moment to envision your ideal environment for working, one in which you're optimally focused, in the flow, and most productive. Perhaps it's an office with a view, a remote mountain cabin, an idyllic tropical beach. Just you, the waves, and no one else to distract you. <laughs> the truth is, we oftentimes can't control our work environment, and the beach remains just a fantasy. So our researchers wondered, what if instead of putting the worker on the beach, we brought the beach to the worker? And we do this through a technology familiar to many of you. Virtual reality. What was once known as a medium for gaming and entertainment has now expanded to areas as broad as pilot training and medicine. What if we extended this to the common workplace? By donning on the headset, the user physically remains at their desk, but is virtually transported to their idyllic beach. Our research question follows. How would VR affect a user's concentration and ability to get into flow, a state of full engagement and immersion in the task? To investigate this question, we introduced two virtual environments. The first is a Hawaiian beach, a serene nature environment which, from past research on biophilia, we believed should foster flow. The second is an open office filmed in 3D and made into a virtual environment. This served as a control to see if the virtual factor itself has an effect. Our study included two lab settings, our baseline closed office where the participant was left alone to perform their tasks undisturbed, and an open office where two actors worked alongside the participant and performed a script of random actions such as occasionally making conversation with each other, typing loudly, coughing, and other actions that you may see in an open office setting. In addition, we played a background tape recorded in an open office setting for a more crowded feel and reproducibility. This resulted in the following four conditions. Our baseline closed office against three open office conditions, with no VR, with a virtual office environment, and a virtual beach environment. We know from past research that the closed office outperforms the open one when it comes to fostering flow and productivity. So how would our two virtual environments on top of the open office measure against these two traditional settings? We asked participants to play a programming game called Lightbot in each of the conditions. In the VR conditions, the game was displayed on a screen floating in their environment. The game was played with a computer mouse in each of the conditions. The goal of the game is to light up all of the blue tiles by building the correct sequence of commands. The tasks grow increasingly challenging and require the logical thinking found in a lot of knowledge work. We recruited 35 participants across two countries. For each, we recorded their ranking of the conditions by preference, the number of tasks completed in the allotted time, and their mental state as measured by the flow state scale questionnaire. So how did our two virtual environments on top of the open office compare against the traditional office settings? Can virtual reality really foster flow and minimize distractions? Mom. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I'll be down to dinner in a bit. Let's get down to the results. In the follow-up interviews, we saw that the virtual beach and the closed office ranked much higher than the actual and virtual open office environments. Now remember that the two virtual environments were both run in the same open office lab setting. And yet, we see this huge disparity in the user preferences. The virtual beach and the closed office environment were ranked as the user's first or second favorite over 80% of the time, as compared to the other two conditions with less than 5%. These results give hope that virtual reality with the right environment can create an experience that comes close to that of a closed office environment. For the task completion and flow scale, we didn't notice a significant effect, which may be due to some interaction effect in the task difficulty. 
The light ball challenges were highly varied, making it difficult to compare against each other. However, we still saw some general trends, with the virtual beach and the closed office producing better flow than the other conditions. In addition, analyzing the nine flow scale dimensions independently, we saw that the virtual beach was best at obtaining a challenge versus scale balance, which according to Csikszentmihalyi is integral to achieving flow. We saw some trends in the comments given by participants in the follow-up interviews. In the virtual office and the actual open office, participants complained about distractions and difficulty staying focused. When there were background noises or talking, that's when my mind was sometimes going back and forth. I have very good peripheral vision, so I have a hard time not looking up. In the virtual beach, in the closed office, participants said they had a much easier time staying focused. In the beach VR, I could do a lot more, like fully concentrate. It was very easy to stay focused. This shows that virtual reality alone is not enough to create an optimal experience, that the type of virtual environment plays a huge role. It seems that the virtual beach in this regard was a successful environment. Participants had a lot of positive comments. For example, I was more focused with the beach, I would say. I didn't even notice you guys were there. It just affected my mood, sitting around the beach in some nature environment feeling, and then this way I could concentrate better. Now, virtual reality in the workplace is still a novel concept, and we don't expect it to be widely adopted in the industry by next year. However, as the workplace continues to modernize, technologies like virtual reality are a potential solution to bridging the gap between the common but crowded open office and the luxury of a private one. One of the strengths of virtual reality is its versatility. Everyone's ideal environment is different. Think back to the one that you envisioned for yourself. On top of a mountain, under the sea, in outer space, with VR, imagination is the limit. And not only can you tailor the environment to you as an individual, but even to your current task, your current mood, your current needs. <coughs> No matter what your setting is, with VR, you can escape to your perfect environment. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.